This morning on The Dish, a celebrity chef who didn't set foot inside a professional kitchen until he was in his 30s. Before that, John DeLucci was an executive recruiter. Now, in addition to being chef and proprietor of two of New York's hottest restaurants, he's also a best-selling author, and he also really loves his Gibson guitar. <laughs> this morning, he brought his ultimate dish, I'm going to say this wrong, Pacari El Sugo. Oh, well, that's pretty good. And you Great probably to know you. more. Thank you. It's so, so nice to be here. And you guys know about more, more about me than probably most people do. There now. you go. Because <laughs> we're obsessed. What should we know about what's on our plate so I can start eating? Well, this is this is food that, that you might get in, in you know, if you came over to my house on a Sunday, you know, mm. with my parents. This is just Pacari, real simple pasta with a with a with a tomato sauce and, and my mother's fantastic artichoke, stuffed artichoke recipe. And some broccoli rabe, which is sauteed with with the garlic and uh, and chili, the tomato sauce is so flavorful. It's yeah, really it's, good. it's got uh, basically four ingredients. So wow. good. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have some too. And then you also brought a dessert and a cocktail I did. as well. Yes, the cocktail is a pear <laughs> tom collins <laughs> with some vodka, which is just the perfect uh, drink at this hour of the morning. <laughs> it really is. I can really attest is. to that. I'm gonna actually use this instead of orange juice from now on. I think. I'm curious to know because you start out as an executive recruiter. What inspires you to get in the kitchen? Uh, well, back you mean, when I started, you mean? Back in well, the day. back in the day, it was really necessity. I, could, I couldn't really do recruiting one more day, and I and I really wanted to do mentally. You just couldn't. No, I couldn't. I just you couldn't didn't do want it to. I didn't want to do it anymore. And I and I had always cooked this kind of food for my friends coming over, and um, I thought, you know what? Maybe I maybe there, maybe I could do it professionally. And so I took a, a class at the new school and. Uh, 21 years ago, here I am, sitting with you guys. I'm hitting the, it out of the park. And I think the career shift you made is really inspiring. What, what advice do you have for people who might be looking to make a switch but are a little scared to do it? Um, think about, well, listen, I think, I think when you have something that you, you really love and you're doing things, that, something that you really, like I never feel like I'm going to work. Right. You know, I never feel, I feel like, you know, I have, I have big challenges that, that I'm going to have during the day, but I never feel like I'm at work or going to work. So if you can create a situation for yourself where that's how you feel every day, that's what you need to do. So go for it. And what's what's with the Gibson guitars? Well, my dad's a musician, a jazz musician. I've always played music. And, um, you know, so I've, I've just uh, continued with my passion, my hobby, <laughs> nice. which is uh, music. So you're, I would say you're a pretty lucky man to have your love of food, your your career is working out great, and then you have your guitars. What of, super lucky? Uh, super lucky. Yes. You consider yourself lucky. Mm -hmm. Of all the things that you feel that you must have in your home kitchen, mm. what would it be? Um, probably champagne. I don't, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or what about some chocolate? Some, oh no, this is my absolute favorite thing at all in the world is dark chocolate. And you have it, I have it morning, noon, and night. Yeah, chocolate is my is my with uh, your champagne. With my champagne, right? <laughs> you are so like me. If you open my refrigerator at mm -hmm. home, it's usually empty. There's like water and dark chocolate. <laughs> yeah, and champagne probably, <laughs> and maybe some champagne. Well, we we ask everyone this who comes here to the dish: if you could enjoy this meal with anyone, who mm -hmm. would it be? Um, it would be with my family. I yeah, think. yeah. Well, this, I mean, I've had this meal many, many times with my family, and I hope to have it many more times. Yeah. Well, we're glad you're having it with us, and we have a tradition here as well that everyone who comes on the program oh, wow. signs a dish for us, and then we put it up on our wall, and then we look at it and we really enjoy it because it gives us memories of the great meals and the fun we've had here. How's that? Thank you, okay. Chef Don John Gucci. <laughs> this is excellent. It Thank really you. is. It's really nice for you to have me here.